Hello everyone and welcome to another video about SAF Lazy. Okay, today we're gonna discuss about virtual scrolling. So if you know by default, the behavior that SAF gives us in the grid control of the list view is the pagination. So we're gonna have our pages here and we're gonna select the page size and so on. So, but what about if we want some virtual scrolling? So basically we want to just scroll down when we need to and that's it. We don't want to, to be doing pagination. So for that one, we can take a look and it's important to understand that uh, SAF Laser have two grids. They started building the DX data grid and at some point I decided that they needed to do some core changes on the on the actual engine of the grid. So they decided to do a complete new grid and that has been great because there's a lot of great features coming in. But that means that there are still a difference on features between the old grid and the new one. And right here, you can see how you can migrate and you can see that the new grid is here. But if you see the new grid in the paging and scrolling, it still doesn't have virtual scrolling. So you don't see it. You, we cannot implement it. But in the old one, they actually have it. So basically, if you see the view source, it's as simple as putting the data navigation mode at virtual scrolling. But the new version of uh, SAF laser comes with the new grid. But the interesting thing is like, the old grid is still there. So let's say that I want to take this box list view and change it to virtual scrolling. So let's see how we do it. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to go to the model and we need to change our editor type. Give it a second. So let's go navigations, items, let's go to the box and we have a list view here. If we go to the list view and we see our editor type, we have the DAX grid list editor. We know this is the new one. So let's change to the old one, to the grid list editor and let's come back to our controller. And right here we, we are accessing the list view of box. So right here, this was an old code for the video we did before about the sorting. But in this case, we are going to modify a little bit. So let's comment this out for just a second. And we're gonna remove it here so we can leave it with the old editor and let's add the namespace. Let's add the namespace. And then of course, right here, then we do have to do the data grid adapter and we have to use the interface data grid because that's the, the old one before. With that one, we already have the adapter. As we know, in the adapter, we will have what we need to actually, the data grid model, that is the one who has the properties of the grid. So right here, we're gonna find navigation, data navigation mode, equal, we're gonna select virtual scrolling, and that's it, we are good to go. Let's run it now, and let's see what happens. All right, so now if we go to our box list view, as we see, we can of course uh, fix the layout, make this bigger and so on, but there is no more pagination. So right now we just scroll, and while we scroll, all of that is getting loaded on the map. Pretty neat, right? Okay, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.